to stand this side of it, then, then the whole team come this side. Accepting a similar program four years back organized by Diabetes BG. Sir, if I may speak on behalf of all under... The Honorable Minister for Health and Medical Services, Dr. Karimi Ovenemit. The Diabetes Fiji Board Members, Mr. Taos Khan, Dr. Ismaili Tukana, Dr. Rajesh Sharma. The senior officials of the Ministry of Health and uh, medical services. Our uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Nisam Murunaka, Namaste and a very good morning to you all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is such a great pleasure, and I deem it an equally great honor to be invited as your chief guest for the first of its kind diabetic workshop for caregivers and patients with diabetes program today. <coughs> Now, a few days ago, I consented to renew my appointment and commitment to being Fiji's chief advocate and the champion in the national campaign to eliminate non-communicable diseases, NCDs, and promote government's wellness program, as you heard. Romney, Honorable Minister. Thank you most sincerely for your kind invitation to this effect, which I have gladly accepted. In this regard, I also look forward to continue promoting the Ministry's endeavors and working very closely with Dr. Ismaili Tukana and his dedicated and hard-working team. We've done that over the last three years, but there's more work to be done. I also welcome and look forward to the support and assistance of other stakeholders in this noble national undertaking. Now for the next three years, as you know, my term has been renewed at the end of last year. I look forward to continue walking the talk. In the military, we like to run the talk. Walking is not fast enough. And be very actively involved and personally participate whenever and wherever it is practically possible to help Fiji as a nation to improve our overall state of health and well-being. Now, after starting the program of this workshop, I'm quite happy and great encouraged that its primary aim is to assist diabetic patients and caregivers in providing a platform within which participants can share experiences, build lasting relationships, and most importantly, provide support to each other. Now, ladies and gentlemen, according to the International Diabetes Federation, worldwide, in every six seconds, in every six seconds, a person from within our global community would sadly die from diabetes. Six seconds. Such statistics, from what I strongly believe, is a scourge which is threatening the global community is both most alarming indeed and so very sad. Now this simply means that diabetes is now one of the many diseases that urgently requires a global collective and concerted effort to address and combat because it's adverse or because of its adverse and detrimental effects and impact on the future of humanity you figure out how many six seconds are there in one day. We're losing a lot of our fellow human beings. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, diabetes does not discriminate as to who it affects. Therefore, living with diabetes is quite burdensome to patients, families, caregivers, and other stakeholders. You know all about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is heartening to note that this workshop also serves as an initiative to educate patients and peers to better understand this illness, how to cope and control the ailment, and be motivated to know and accept that there is always hope, and it is preventable 
I think it's critical. Now, there's great concern that the International Diabetes Federation in 2017 revealed that 15% of the adult population of our beloved nation, Fiji, are suffering from diabetes. The Ministry of Health statistics currently reveal that almost one in every three Fijians are being diagnosed with diabetes, which is equivalent to about 30% of our population. One third. And that about three lower limb amputations are conducted every day as a result of uncontrolled infection due to poorly controlled diabetes. Now, this alarming rate raises serious concerns with the Ministry of Health and Medical Services and to government as a whole, which has spent about $406 million annually on the treatment of non-communicable diseases and related ailments in recent years. Ladies and gentlemen, these much needed government funds that will be better utilized for the improvement of other sectors in our communities. We're spending a lot of money in treating sick people. Sadly and most regrettably, most Fijians are dying at a young age today due to diabetes. And diabetes has now become a present, a real, a clear threat and danger to the well-being of our beloved nation today, and if not controlled, would also threaten the livelihood of future generations of Fijians. Now, statistics further reveal that eye diseases associated with diabetes are also a great threat of impediment and the mobility and social interaction cohesion of our adult population. Diabetes, as our health professionals know, can also affect other parts of the body too, and can lead to hypertension, stroke, and other complications. It is weak, it is wrecking havoc in our nation, and we need to act now. Thank you for coming to this workshop. This is part of that move by government, by the ministry, to help us address this issue. As I've said before, it is a threat to our livelihood. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have been advised that the three leading causes of mortality and disability in Fiji today are ischemic heart diseases, diabetes, and stroke. Now, these are non-communicable diseases that can be prevented through modifying our lifestyles and choosing a more healthy lifestyle, such as strict adherence to a healthy diet, Exercising daily for a minimum of about 30 minutes. Stop smoking and cutting down on alcohol and alcohol consumption. And having enough sleep, which are considered key requirements to a healthy and longer life. And I just digress here for a while. As the lead advocate and champion of the fight against NCDs, my team and I, soldiers and policemen, we get out of bed about 4 o'clock every morning. And by 5 o'clock, we're on the roads, walking and running. And on Fridays, we hump our packs, and we're up and down the hills in the Mosi. I welcome you to join us. Because I believe in leading by example. As a chief advocate, my team and I have got to be fit. And I'd like to thank the uh, Honorable Minister for his comments. This morning as I came through, said, uh, President, you look fit and well. That's what I mean by walking the talk. Uh, too many of our people are not doing the right thing. So let's exercise. Let's stay healthy. Try and get out of bed. Go we'll around for a walk in the mornings. The education of our young people about diabetes together with its related preventative measures and managers and management should begin within the home. The old saying, Jerusalem begins at home. This is where we teach our youngsters, our young adults, the right thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as parents and responsible citizens of our beloved nation, let us make it our business to assist 
the appropriate authorities, in this case, the minister, and his officials in combating this scourge for the benefit of present and future generations of our people. In this regard, I would therefore like to acknowledge and thank the Diabetes Fiji team. Thank you, and your <coughs> We have a, a pragmatic and shared vision in combating and the treatment of NCDs and diabetes. Now we can prevent the prevalence of diabetes and improve our people's quality of life by making the right choices and leading a healthy lifestyle now. Making the right choices. This is a gift from Almighty God that you and I have and we should enjoy it and use it properly. Let's make the right choice. Many individuals feel isolated because they are suffering from the disease and attending workshops and seminars such as this, where they can meet and interact with other individuals with diabetes, sharing their experiences and their stories, will undoubtedly encourage and enable them to learn, properly manage their treatments with more confidence and hope. Thank you for coming. So nice to see so many of you. Now, these workshops are also very good forums for all participants to learn from one another and to establish new acquaintances with officials and your fellow patients. Now, those who are suffering from the disease within communities can be empowered to accept and learn how to cope with this ailment through the creation of diabetes community peer groups. Now, worldwide experiences with the establishment of diabetes community peer groups have shown and proven that this medium can be an effective and successful tool in managing diabetes and its complications. Now, it develops a great sense of camaraderie amongst the sufferers and enhances the sharing of experience and knowledge amongst the officials and patients alike. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that with this wealth of information, our best strategy and course of action as a nation to prevent diabetes and address the prevalence of non-communicable diseases is to be more proactive instead of being dismissive, ignorant, and sadly prefer to be reactive. The old English adage of prevention is better than cure rings very true. Now only then will we be able to achieve every community and our beloved nation's aspiration to be a peaceful, prosperous, and a more healthy nation. As a Greek physician, Hippocrates said, and I quote, the greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. The greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it, unquote. Great words of wisdom indeed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I thank the Diabetes Foundation once again and the Ministry of Health and Medical Services for organizing this symposium, which I strongly believe to be both timely and apt. And I look forward to the implementation of the outcomes of your deliberations. And on that note, it gives me great pleasure to declare the workshop open. Almighty God bless our beloved nation, Fiji. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll be having the food in our body and blessed with, with your continual support. Ex Excellency, the President, Major General, retired. So, please, we can try this. This is some of the things we have been doing at the hub for our patients. Big smiles.